Hello Technology Crazy here and today we're going to be doing a really quick video on dual monitoring. Now I'm going to be covering this on the Windows and Mac so I'm going to be covering everyone's uh, computer but basically we're just going to be taking a monitor like this, plugging it into a Windows or Mac and uh, going through the settings and the cords and what you'll need and also prices. So please stay tuned and enjoy the video. Okay so let's start with what you're going to need to make a dual screen. Now for the Windows, all you're going to need is a monitor, which costs about $100 to $500. So it's quite a, quite expensive, but not nearly as much as Mac monitor. And once again, you can use a Windows monitor on a Mac. It does not matter at all. You don't have to have a Mac monitor on a Mac. Uh, so second, you're going to need a DVI cable, or a VGA cable, sorry about that. A VGA cable, and they come with most monitors. Uh, so you're not going to need to worry about that. I do have a picture right there, just in case. Uh, you guys are a little bit nervous and want to double check. Now for a Mac, this is when you're going to need a mini DIV cable. Um, and that's only for 2008 and up. If you have a Mac that's before 2008, you're going to just need the normal DVI cable. Okay, so second we're going to cover why would you want a dual screen. Now, over there I have uh, my, my dual screen set up. And basically I have my two computers. I can drag one window into the other. Um, I can open up Safari in one and Google and do Facebook on the other, or I, I can have my programming in one, my YouTube YouTubering, I don't know if there's a word for that, but anyways, I can do multiple things in uh, the different Windows full screen. So it's sort of like having two computers with one keyboard and mouse. Okay, so let's start with the Mac here. Now you're going to notice as soon as you plug in your second monitor that they're both going to look the same. Now to turn this off, all we have to do is go to the Apple sign in the top left hand corner and you want to click under system preferences after that you want to go and click on displays and then arrangement after that make sure mirror displays is unchecked this will basically make both screens have their own uh, windows and everything like that another thing you want to take into account is you can actually move the monitor around it doesn't always have to be on the left side Okay, so on the Windows, I'm going to be doing this on a Windows 7, but it's the same on Windows Vista and XP and all that stuff. All you have to do is go and click on the Start menu, and click on Control Panel. Then you want to go onto Appearances and Personalization, and you want to click on Adjust Screen Resolution. Now, if I had another monitor hooked up, as soon as I press Detect, it would detect it, but I don't have one hooked up to this Windows uh, machine. Um, but basically, I have a picture in the right-hand corner there of what it would look like uh, if you had your screen hooked up. Anyways, that's the end of this video, unfortunately. And the Pick Me Program winner this week is Pendra Productions or whatever. And he makes comedy videos as far as I can see. Um, anyways, uh, he has 700 subscribers and almost 4,000 views. So if you want to go and check him out, all you have to do is click on the Click Me button on your screen right now. If you want to be part of the Pick Me Program, all you have to do is comment below on my newest video. Uh, saying pick me and you can say it as many times as you want and you might be featured in my next video. That's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.